give first fruits. Hello, welcome home. Everybody made it back. Yeah. Yay, yay, yay. Hot dog. Good, good. I can just get back here. Yes. We're going to, um, one of the things we, we're going to show a video in a moment, but before we want to start with what we did every, every um, place in the borders we went, which was we worshiped and we prayed and we decreed. And so Brian and Russell and Carrie were a big help in all of that. And okay, do I have them here? We're missing a few. Okay. Yeah, no. You guys, so you, you, you're going to be good? You want to, do you need a moment to get ready? Two moments. Two moments. Sorry, let's, can we do the video then? Sure. All right. Thank God for Candace because she volunteered to pull together, I imagine you got hundreds of photos and videos. So she put it down into a short five minute clip. So when you're ready, let's just go ahead and show, start with the clip. Drop the lights. Turn around. I guess we should be, no, we can't see it there. Take me deeper than my thinking 
All right. Good job. Good job. Yay, Candace. That was awesome. Awesome. Okay, so I'll let you take the lead now, Brian. We would um, just uh, start worshiping, and we had such an open heaven. And I've been to Israel like 12 times now, and this was the most open heaven ever felt. The most reception, wherever we were, whether it was a religious site or just a regular old border city or town. And uh, these guys just, they came alive. Did you bring your, look at this guitar Brian has. He bought this thing to travel with. It's a backpacker's. Martin, it's the coolest thing, yeah. And so we, you're gonna just. This is how we were when we were together. So we'll just um, lead us out, please. What do you want to? What would you want to say? You want to share it before you sing? Or no. you want to say? Okay. <laughs> um, Brian has to work on Wednesday, so I want to make sure he's. Uh, the lyrics of this song, though, if you put it in context of Israel. I just, I feel like it really fits. And just think of it as the people there being set free and, I don't know, it just really hit me. So that's why I wanted to work on that. wants to make a declaration. Carrie, you got a microphone? Go ahead and pray. Say something. Anything you want to say. That's what we had to do all the time. <laughs> Except we didn't have microphones, so you don't feel self-conscious. <laughs> Lord God, I just thank you for this day. Jesus, I thank you for this time that we can just share what you did in Israel, Lord God. I thank you for the awesome things that you did. 
Lord, the 10 days that we were there, I just felt your presence so strongly and the anointing just flowed through that land, Lord Jesus. I thank you so much, God, and I just bless this time, Lord Jesus. I ask that what we received in Israel, God, would just be poured out today, God, mm -hmm. um, that we would all have just open hearts to hear what you had to say in Israel, Lord Jesus. I ask that um, these testimonies um, would just bring life. Lord God, I just declare peace. And I just declare um, your joy, God. I thank you. That was the one thing that I felt so strongly was just joy and freedom over there. God, in the midst of fear, I thank you that you are the joy. That yes. we can have joy in the midst of fear. We can have joy in the midst of pain. God, in the midst of all the struggles that went on, yes. everything that the devil tried to stop us, God. I thank you that you were there and you were just the joy. God, that in the end, we could just laugh and be with you, God, because you are so good. I thank you for the things you did in Israel, Lord Jesus, and I ask that the things you're doing there would be brought forth here, yes. Lord God, in this house. Jesus, I thank you for everyone here and just the missionaries and the people that you are bringing to life, Lord Jesus. Even now, God, I ask that you would stir up callings in people's lives and their hearts right now, Lord Jesus, to go out and to share you and to share your joy to the nations, Lord Jesus. I thank you. God, for the callings that you have placed on the people here, Lord God, in this house. And I just thank you for this day. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Carry yourself. All right, pass. Who's got the mic? My, Brian, you got the mic, sir. Go ahead and get started. Shalom. Baruch Hava, Adonai Elohim, Falafel, Hummus. Falafel. These are the words you need to know in Israel. <laughs> um, I think one thing that surprised me the most is the fellowship and friendship that uh, that happened during the trip. I wasn't, I guess I didn't really think about that very much. I was, I was more worried about there being issues with that, but it was really awesome. Um, just felt like we were a family, and this is quite... A diverse group if you look there's a few people missing but um, he's probably sleeping I don't know Jordan but, Go ahead. but yeah it, it, it was a really a, it was a blessing to have this team and and another big thing is thank you everybody for praying for us yeah. there's no way we could have accomplished as much as we did without prayer and I, I think it's easy to take for granted the safety we experienced in the midst of chaos that was in certain places. We thankfully never saw any craziness. Um, we were at least an hour or so away from any <coughs> any crazy stuff that happened. But um, yeah, so I, I came there really not sure with any direction of what God wanted me to do, other than praying, praying obviously. But even with that, I didn't feel anything specific. And when I got there. We got to the hotel the first night. I was like, okay, Lord, this, you need to let me know what's going on here. And he said, just worship. And I said, all right. And um, I just saw the, the worship team, Carrie, Russell, and I, um, specifically, as he, he just used us as like a, to declare, but also as protection over the team and over the land. Um, there was one, uh, when we went to the Egypt border, it was, it was kind of crazy there because there, there wasn't anybody around. And the tour guide was like, okay, there's probably a bomb threat or a missile threat right now. <laughs> no joke. Like, he's like, they're probably hiding in a bomb shelter right now. There was all these semi-trucks that didn't have anybody in them. And there was a big border crossing. And we were like, hmm, okay. <laughs> That's uh, comforting. And... <laughs> And so pastor was just, let's, let's pray. Let's just make it happen. And uh, at one point, I just felt this heaviness come over me and like, like something's about to go down that's not good. And the Lord just told me, walk around everybody while worshiping. And a few people joined me, and I just felt this peace come over us. And, um, and as soon, there's probably more to this that other people can say, but it, it, we would have got kicked out if there was people, if there was guards but all the little guard shacks were all empty. And so as we, we got back on the bus and we left, 
and all these cars started coming the other way and some military trucks. And so God just, he quieted that place for us. So, yeah. I think yeah. yeah, that's really good. Yeah. Good, yeah, that, that was, that's the entrance to the Egyptian border as well as into Gaza where the supply trucks were all lined up. So it was, it was probably an intense place. Susan, you have a microphone. Uh, the Lord has done great things. What happened is the Lord did something to me, and the Lord did also something in what we do. The first thing that I saw is the wave. Where every time we speak prayer, I saw the wave just spreading out, and the roar of the, li the lion was just flowing. It's just so powerful. So we just need to speak out, pray, and worship. And everywhere we go, we do that, and it's like gates are being opened. Those, those big uh, black, black uh, guards there is being get, uh, taken out because of the worship and prayer. And when we were in, in the beatitude place, I was sitting down at the corner and I said, Lord, what do you want me to see? And then suddenly I saw a, a tsunami from going from, from heaven. And then there's lots of debris, like a tsunami, debris just flowing. I say, what is that debris? And I, the Lord says, debris of unbelief, deb debris of fears, debris of everything, everything, all the things, the negative things in my life and everything, it's just flowing, 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 being washed away. And then suddenly I saw this mm. fresh water, mm. fresh water just flowing, and it's gone. Mm. So I need just to need to always remember that the f there's a new thing. And after that, we went to Jordan, and I was baptized. And I said, Lord, thank you that you already washed me with these things, with all the things that happened to me in the past and everything. You have done great things to me. And after that, when we were at the end of our time, we, we stay in the Sukkot Halel, the prayer, prayer, prayer house. And it's like a period. Somebody prayed for me. There's a new thing. You are a new creation. You are new. So from there to, to the end, the Lord has shown me that there is a period. There's a beginning and there's an end of what the enemy has stolen in my life. Mm -hmm. He is restoring. And also, sorry, Pastor. Go ahead. No. <laughs> when we were at the church that Sunday, there's a 12 years old girl. She read a, a, a letter that she made. She says, this is the words that I remember. She says, that the Lord punish the terrorists, but he also punish those who curse. And he say, she says, who are we to curse them? We are to pray for them and forgive them. Yeah. I was just crying and crying and crying at the depths of my heart because I said, Lord, the core spirit in this place is forgiveness. Mm -hmm. And I pray, Lord God, that and, and, and I said, Lord, they are dying. They are dying. They are being killed. Young people, old people, they are all being killed. And they're still forgiving. And I just cry and cry. And the Lord remind me, say, your life is in my hand. If it is your time to go, you will go home. And what they are living right now is for a purpose. They are, these Israelites are living their life for a purpose. That's why they are here. And I said, Lord, bless them. Bless them, protect them, give them the heart to continue to forgive. And then after that, the afternoon, Russell and Carla and I was at the rooftop of our hotel. And then I turned on the, my, my cell phone in the service here. So we were worshiping with you that time. We were facing Mount Zion and all these things, the upper room. We were facing that one. We were worshiping with you. And we say, from Jerusalem to Jubilee, from Jerusalem to Jubilee, from Jerusalem to Jubilee. So we declare that. And so we worship with you. The Jerusalem that Sunday was here. Yeah. Why, don't you, uh, why don't you release that, those two things that you, God was doing, that turning, undoing, beginning, the new beginning, and that sound. And then... You didn't, Brian, you, we didn't have you release that, what you saw. So we want to decree it. If, they dec if we, we see and we de testify, it's when we decree that you can just grab it, right? You can grab it in the testimony, but it's like a readiness. But go. Go, Susan. All right, Jordan. 
Lord, we want to thank you, Lord God, that you are the one who's removing all the debris of unbelief, fear, Lord God, everything uh, and forgiveness in our life, Lord God, right now, show, Lord God, each one of us, Lord God, that you are watching, watching all those things in our life right, right now, Lord God, and you are bringing new things. I speak new things right now in the name of Jesus, new things, new things, new creation. We are now a new creation in the name of Jesus. I bring Jerusalem to Jubilee in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, in Jesus' name. Amen, 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 amen. Go ahead, Brian, please. Father, I just declare your peace over Israel. Father, the peace that we experienced when, when there was chaos, I, I, I just released that and I de decree, Father, that you would just fill everyone with an abundance of your peace. And I thank you, Father, that as we experience safety, you will also build that safety there, Father God. Mm -hmm. And I just mm -hmm. declare uh, unity and, and family, Father, yeah. over that land, that with the Arabs and with the Israeli, Father, with the Jews, that, Father, you will take away that separation and just make everyone a family. Yeah. In yeah. Jesus' name. Yeah. Ooh, that's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Who'd like to be next? Yeah, yeah. Okay. talk and then break. About experience, I think. Oh yeah. man, <laughs> the Lord really touched me. I think the most when we went to the church. Remember what's the name of the church? You guys remember? Christ Church. Christ Church. Yeah, and yeah, Christ church. Um, Jerusalem. We had a great opportunity to go to a church, and there was also some groups from other nations. Uh, I think one was from Russia or something like that, Europe. And when we were starting to worship. It was beautiful to hear the church seen in Hebrew and see all the other countries seen in their countries and stuff like that, and us just seen in English. And remember, I closed my eyes, and that's when I broke. The Lord spoke to me the most. And for a split second, I remember I felt like I was in the throne room, and I know Carrie was touched as well. But it was so beautiful to see so many nations worshiping God, and especially in a country where right now they have so much tension. If you go everywhere, you see so many soldiers, and even though the atmosphere is thick, this team, not once did I ever felt in fear. Like, I remember the Lord really separated our, uh, the enemies or just the people would probably come against us because we prayed. Like, when we went to Gaza, the Lord showed up so much. Um, all the other borders, usually you'll see soldiers or you usually you see um, them boarding the, the, the different borders or guarding the different borders, but in Gaza, it was empty. And... Uh, our bus driver thinks that either they have a bomb threat or they're just having a break. And we're just like, well, okay, time to worship. But we all got out of the bus and the atmosphere was so thick, but the Lord showed up so much. And I remember it was dead. It was just like, it was just dead. Then all of a sudden just a gust of wind came and it was so beautiful to see God show up in a place where there was so much tension. And it wasn't until after we left that that's when the armies were starting to come and the different um, soldiers were starting to come. So it was just so beautiful to see God work in such a way that, especially in the church, to worship God and to see that when we are in heaven, to have all these nations glorify our God in one time, in one voice, and it all mixed together and made a beautiful sound. That's what spoke to me the most. Yeah, that's good. Jordan, you, I want you to bless that sound that you heard in the church. They were in Christ Church, which is the oldest, uh, I don't say Anglican, really oldest church building in Jerusalem. It's in the old city, and so it's been uh, it's led by two uh, uh, Jewish brothers that really love the Lord, and Max and Kathy have been a part of that, but why don't you release what you, have so that we can receive that. Father God, we just first of all come and glorify your holy name. We thank you, Lord Jesus, that even in a country, my God, that all the other nations are against, my Lord, you still reign, and you're still moving in such a mighty way. We thank you, Lord Jesus, that you're rising up your people, Lord God. You're rising up the Jews and, and even the Arabs and the Muslims and everyone just to, to turn their hearts for you, Lord God. Yeah. And make a, a heart of stone into a heart of flesh, my Lord. That there are, there are still signs and wonders happening in Israel, Lord God. And I thank you, Holy Spirit, that what I felt and my whole team, what we felt in that church, we just, we, I, I bless Jubilee with yeah. that, Lord God, yeah. to lift up their sound for Israel, to lift mm -hmm. up their sound even for America and for this um, 
this county, my Lord, and Jubilee itself, our God, for this church and the four corners of this church, my God, just to lift up their voice and declare out of their mouth that, God, you are good. That it doesn't matter what the circumstances around us or what the atmosphere feels like, my Lord, that we can change the atmosphere through our worship, Lord God. When London came and they brought that song, my Lord, that worship changes atmosphere, Lord God, how much more can our worship change atmosphere, Lord Jesus, when we set our sides with with what we see, Lord God, for what you know, my Lord. We thank, Lord God, that we will no longer see with our eyes of earth, my Lord, but we will see the heavenly eyes that you have given us, Lord Jesus, saying yes and amen, that we follow the word of God and not what the world says in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Richard. One of the things the Lord um, said when we went over that Steve and I were talking was that being we were going over to pray for his people, that he wanted to send back a greater prayer for this church, a greater prayer for the ministries that do prayer, whether it be healing prayer, whether it be deliverance prayer, whether it be intercessory prayer, or just the fact that prayers for the nations Uh, and then there are some ministries that do prayer for for what they represent and um, I don't know how this is going to go but when the Lord spoke woke me up at three o'clock this morning he told me he wanted he wanted me to pray this what um, what he had revealed to me before I went on this trip so My children, I come before you this morning as you have come, as you have come to my land, and as you have come to bring your worship and your prayer for my people and for my will. And I say to you, I come to do the same in return. And as you came to pray for the borders of my people, know that I so I also will cause a change on your borders. Watch what I do on your borders. But I say to you today, I say to you today, I am a grateful God. I am a grateful God. I am a grateful God for you obeyed and came when it seemed to be nothing of what I'd asked you to do at the beginning. You'd say, why would we go? Why would we go? Why would we go? But once you went, you saw the dangers of war people being killed and people being harmed, and yet you went over to pray for my people and to worship for them. And so now I say to you today, I say to you today, those in this church who pray in ministries that have been established here, those who offer their time and those who offer their talents and those who offer their lives and and at times even can be an inconvenience for their family life, I say to you now, open your hands. Open your hands, for I now say to you, the prayer life that you have used in my kingdom for my people, I say to you now, this morning, I am du- I'm doubling it. I am doubling it. I am opening up the heavens over you, and I am well, raining down, raining down the fire of God, the fire of God, and I am multiplying your abilities. I am multiplying your abilities multiplying your abilities yeah well and bringing bringing my grace my blessing upon this earth for as your prayer has been doubled so has your access to my throne for i see your prayer and i see your lives and i say it is pleasing in my sight and i say to you now i open you up i open you up wide i change how you understand prayer nor prayer I say to you, prayer as you have known it before will not be the norm. It will not be the norm. It will be different. It will be different. Prepare yourself, for I, the Lord, am an ever-changing God, and I have given you an ever-changing gift. Praise you, Jesus. All right. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. New prayer. New prayer. We're going to, I know we will run out of time this service, so we will finish and enlarge and expand on Wednesday, so I hope you can come, because we'll really, and at the end of this service, all of the team will go on over at the over at the dance floor, if anyone would like prayer. But who's got the mic now? Carrie? It's okay. <laughs> so um, going into this trip, I had no idea what to expect. I had been to Israel before, 
but that was a very long time ago, so I don't remember it at all. But um, so I um, happened to sprain my ankle <laughs> at the beginning of the trip, which um, really, it was right before I was going to get baptized in the Jordan. And so it was kind of like a bummer and really started depressing me kind of throughout the trip. Um, but uh, the main point that I wanted to kind of share, one of the highlights for me was we went to the old city, which is where a lot of the shops and the vendors are in Jerusalem. And we, I was on crutches, and so I looked very helpless. And it's very hard to walk on crutches in that city because yeah. everything is stone and uneven. And so I'm like walking like this, having a pretty difficult time. We're walking downstairs, just looking at the shops and the vendors and stuff. And I started just feeling this heavy spirit, just kind of a fear because I was thinking, I'm wounded, I have crutches, what if this, what if that, everything was, and I just started thinking um, just the what ifs, the stupid what ifs, <laughs> and, and so I just kind of started giving into the spirit of fear, and um, you know, everyone is talking, everyone's trying to get you to buy all their stuff, and I was just getting really caught up in the moment, and I wasn't thinking about the piece that I should probably be focusing on. And so um, I was just getting really fearful of, of the people. And I mean, everyone there is really forward with how they talk to you. They're really in your face, and I didn't really like that. And so anyways, <laughs> we're, <laughs> we're walking, and I'm just I'm getting really fearful. And this, this we stop at this one shop, and we're looking at their stuff. And this guy comes out, the owner of the shop, and he starts talking to us. And I was kind of, he was like, come in, have a seat. like come rest, I have a present for you, all this stuff. And I'm like, mm, no, <laughs> no. <laughs> and I was just, they were like, no, no, come in. And so I think, what? Oh, yeah, yeah. So Susan was already in there. She was buying stuff. And she was like, come in, come in. So Susan can buy. Yeah. <laughs> she has a gift. <laughs> <laughs> she knows how to bargain. <laughs> um, so, so we go in the shop, and we start talking to the owners of the shop. And it's a father and he had three sons, two of them were there. And we just start talking with these people and they were hilarious. They were, we were in that shop for about three, two or three hours, I think. <laughs> it was just incredible, we laughed. I had never laughed that hard like in my life. It was crazy. And we got to know the, the people and we bought a ton of stuff <laughs> um, and one of the brothers just came up to me. I bought a pair of earrings, and he was, it was handmade. It was beautiful. And he was like, no one ever buys my stuff. Everyone likes the old, my other brother's stuff. No one ever likes my stuff. Thank you for buying my stuff. And it, I just felt this, this peace, like, like we had really blessed them just by talking with them. And they said, one of the things that I really liked about it was they said, you know, you can come. You can buy. We're not going to force you to buy. We just want to teach you about our products. That was one of the things we were learning so much about the stuff they were selling. There was a huge history behind everything they had. And they were just like, we just want to talk. And so like, we had a blast. Like, I think at one, like, Jordan had to go to the bathroom. <laughs> they're, and <laughs> they were really nice. They're like, oh, do you want tea or do you want something? Can you go to the restroom? Just let us know. So I said, yes, actually, you need to go to the restroom. So they said, okay, get off a carpet. They had this huge carpet. So they told Carrie to get off and they pulled a couple of feet and he goes up to like a bookshelf that had all these fabrics. And I'm like, what are they going to do? I literally thought the bathroom was underneath the carpet. Like I'm gonna have to walk down. And I'm like, oh, I don't have to go anymore. And so they like go up to this like, this place where like, I don't know, uh, bookshelf and they bring it out and the bathroom was behind. So I'm going in and then he pushes it again. So I'm told, I guess, do you guys film it? Some of you guys filmed yeah, it. Yeah, and you, you see in the film where it's like, I'm gone. <laughs> I've disappeared. And they were laughing like, are you okay in there, Jordan? You can hear people laughing and everything, especially the brothers of the store. But it was just things, moments like that was awesome. It was definitely a great experience because I know with Carrie, the, the shopping center was very, the atmosphere was very difficult because, I mean, you have these people, they're, they're wanting to get paid. They want it for your, your family. So it was just like any other country you went to, but that specific family blesses so much that even they even said to us that we bless them, that they've never had 
uh, just a great experience like that, especially that Susan, I think, woke up one of the guys or something. It's like, get up, get up, I want to shop or something like that. <laughs> but it was fun. You know, it was so cool to see, like, you have America talk about Muslims and all the things that they do bad. But for us to go there and to actually see who they are, yeah. wonderful people. So good. And it just to give us a, just more of a heart to pray for their peop those people and for their salvation. So it was awesome. Yeah. One more thing, like, for me, you know, you're praying for Israel. You're just thinking the country. You're not thinking, I mean, we think about the people, but for me, I was just pray for Israel, pray for this border, pray for that. And this really gave me a face to pray for. I was able to see them and think, these are people. These are people that the Lord wants to be his. And he, it was just so cool. And so we left with just this feeling of peace. I was like, charging up those stairs like thank you god like for that because it really encouraged me and cheered me up for the whole trip because now i have a face that i can pray for now i can think of israel and think oh those people i wonder how they're doing lift them up to god and it was just so cool that was just one of the highlights for me yeah so this place was like our favorite we loved it like these guys were like cracking us up they I bought this really cool necklace and earrings and like we just they were giving us tutorials on how to tie scarves so if you need to know we know a lot of ways to tie scarves and um they were they were just hysterical susan like <laughs> bargained herself like way down and the guys were just cracking up because they're like you guys are like family and we're taking pictures with them before we leave and the brother comes up to me and he's like, oh, you're my favorite because you helped me with the bargainer. <laughs> and, <laughs> and then <clears throat> something I was incredibly blessed by was that the dad, the, the father, who we didn't have much interaction with. Like, I think we talked to Brian for a little bit, but we didn't have a lot of like interaction with him. But he was like, he comes over after we've hugged, like everyone's hugging. And um, he's like, I'm going to hug you guys, too. And so he comes up to me, and he gives me a hug. And then he full on just starts speaking, like, life into me. And he, uh, I might cry because this is, like, so intense to me. But, like, he was like, you bring joy wherever you go. And he's like, the man that you marry <laughs> is, he's going to, like, love that about you. He's going to, like, want to wake up before you so that he has more joy in his, in his life. And guys, I'm just standing there like, uh-huh, okay. Like, <laughs> Carrie's like, <laughs> like, <laughs> Kathy was like, oh my gosh, that never happens? What was that? Like, an Arab man just spoke, like, life into me. That's God, that's God. And... <laughs> It was so cool. It was like the best thing, especially because all of us, like yeah. going down, like we got yelled at. I had someone like grab my arm telling me like, you didn't buy this, you didn't come. I'm like, oh my gosh. <laughs> but it was so, so good. And it was, we got a face. We have people like they're, like Arabs are not scary to me anymore because I met these amazing yeah. Arab people who just, invested in us and talked to us and they were like you guys are like family like we haven't laughed this hard in so long they felt the same they were like we all just really enjoyed ourselves and it was such a such a cool experience yeah. so wow so why don't good. you yeah. why don't you release that now like that all of us yeah. <laughs> just that, yeah that promise that hope that faith oh, that love. father i just i thank you i thank you for those men I thank you for that experience, and I just, oh, I just declare that understanding of people, of those, the, the putting the face to, a, like, a, a name, to a fear, even, God, that, yeah. that we look at these people, or we have these preconceived ideas of what they are, and, and they weren't, God, and I thank you for them, and I, oh, I just speak life into, to this, because that's what they did to me, God. I speak life into the Arab people. I speak life into that store specifically, God, that they, um, that they are just, that you just bless them, God. Yeah. Praise. 
Yes, God, I just, I thank you so much for, God, that day. It was so cool to see how things turned around, God. And I thank you so much that even in the midst of fear, Lord Jesus, we can find those precious moments of joy, Lord God, in the midst of going down there and being fearful, God, that we were able to find that moment where we were just joyful. And I thank you for the blessing of that store, Lord Jesus. And I just, I bless that store. I bless that family, God. I ask that they would prosper, Lord Jesus. Many people would find that store and just go in and there would just be life and joy and they would be blessed, God. That every person who walks out of that store would just feel this feeling of completion and joy and thinking, I can do this. I can be in Israel and not be afraid, Lord Jesus. I thank you so much for those people and God, that we just have a face to pray for now, Lord Jesus. I thank you that every time I will think of Israel, I'll think of that family, Lord God, and that it just reminds me to lift them up to you, Lord Jesus. I just um, release that here and now, Lord Jesus, that um, that your joy would just anoint us, God. I just thank you so much that um, if anyone is fearful, God, if there's anything in their life that is just um, feeling fear, Lord God, that there would yeah. be joy that yeah, they would yeah. remember to Receive, look for those yeah. moments of joy, Lord Jesus, because you give us these gifts and just Whoa. little things of joy just to show us who you are and just remind us that you're there Whoa. in the midst of everything, Lord yeah. God. I just declare that over this yeah. house, and I thank you so much, Jesus. Yeah, yeah. wow. Thanks. Hey, I want to thank you. We've run out of time, uh, so if somebody can release the, the closing prayer on this side, we'll, get, we'll start up on this side. We're just going to release a blessing, but let me, everyone's going to be over there, anyone for prayer. Thank you, Jubilee. Remember, we, we were off in London, and it was a Sunday, and Matt got up. It was, Petey, you, you, you were leading the service, you guys, and Noel, Petey's wife, said to Mac, I believe you have a word. Mac got up and said, I believe that Jubilee is supposed to send the, this generation. We need a, this generation to go on this trip. And you guys responded with like about $5,000 and labeled them in a huge way to get there because they're, they're just all, you know, beginning point of life. And we got the benefit of having the richness of the mixture, yeah. the generations and the sound. So thank you, Jubilee. Thank you, Petey. Look, look at that. Look at that, Petey. Yeah, is that pretty cool? <laughs> so... Yeah, Kristen, just release a blessing, and then you, you'll pick up on Wednesday. You start us out. Father, we just exalt you for all that you have done. Yeah. Through your body, you have brought a body together, and it takes a body to send forth. It takes everyone to send forth and to hold um, what you have brought together. It takes each one of us, yeah. and I thank you, Father, for each one. I thank you for the intercessors, Father, that, yeah. have, that has stood in the yeah. gap, yeah. that yeah. created that wall and that barrier around us, Father. I thank you, and I, I just ask, Father, for your blessing on our time together on Wednesday, Father. I ask you to bring those that, that you would impart to, Father. And I ask not, Father, just for stories, but they would feel the very things that we felt that you gave us, each one, a gift. And I ask that because we cannot do it um, by, by what we say. It's only supernaturally that you, Holy Spirit, can impart these things, the experiences, the touches, um, the challenges, the, the overcoming, the blessings that you have given. So thank you, Father. And we just ask that you would keep us together in this unity, in this, in this oneness, in this place, this new place that you're calling us to, and just ignite, ignite, ignite passion, ignite worship, mm -hmm. ignite praise, ignite mm -hmm. Holy Spirit, yeah. you have done a work in that land. You did a work in Jerusalem. You did a work, and there's fire coming. There's fire coming to your people. There's an igniting that's coming to your people. There's a sound that is coming to your people and has come, but it's going to grow 
and, and, and the things that have been birthed, the seeds that have been planted are growing and being birthed, but not just in the womb of one, but in the womb of Jubilee. Yeah. And I thank you for the expression that is being birthed yeah. forth anew because it is arising to a new sound in a new place of declaration. And I thank you, Father. I thank you, Holy Spirit, for the brooding in our wombs that are causing everything to be birthed forth at this time. In your name, Jesus, Amen. sealed by your blood and all that you have given. In Jesus' name. Amen. Oh, thank you, Kristen. Thank you. That's so good. Well, bless you. We're going to begin Nation's Prayer. If the team will be available to pray, talk with anybody, and I'm going to go back and sell books, and you can buy, get those DVDs. God bless you. We'll start up Nation's right away. <laughs>